Dark clouds roll across the sky over the community of Bath Mountain, promising rain. The skies are a major source of water for the community. Drums and tanks are an essential part of surviving in Bath Mountain. Rainwater harvesting is a big deal with most residents being forced to find creative ways to catch every drop. Bath Mountain is a small community in western Westmoreland where residents say they have been without piped water for over a decade. Since 1997 we're trying to get its system set up and you know, no government come in ever want to help us. We tried everything to get water for the community. These people have no river up here. We down so little better, we have a river, but them up here don't have no river. If rain or fall, them don't drink water. Or them have to pay $10,000 for a chuck of water, and three and four of them have to come together to buy water because the chuck not coming up to full water. The pipes in Bath Mountain are dry, but water flows freely in the neighboring community. Here's where Bath Mountain residents have to come to get water. Yeah man, this is where we have the water running. This is the Imiti Mountain project. It was a system in place years ago. And since in the 80s, after the engine blow up, nothing more. Water just keeps running here for years and years and years ago. Just like that, it runs all year round. And this is the water that we want in our community. To drink. We try all different ways to get the relevant authority to give us water, but there's no water. We have to come around here. As you see those drugs and cars, that's how people have to come around here and drug it into the community to get fresh drinking water. The Bath Mountain residents say the Member of Parliament, Wickham McNeil, has made several promises over many years to solve their water woes, but that's yet to happen. 97, when the member of parliament was campaigning he assured us mean person that this tank would be his first priority once he win in 1997 he gonna give us water drinking water and until now i've been fighting with him i've been arguing with him i've been to his office many times i formed many groups and try to get in contact with him only promise but that was 1997. Yes, since there was an election after that in 2002. Yes, every, so, so what did he say then? Well, he he always promised us, we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. And as this gov the government changed now, he said no money. They're not giving us any money to do that. We don't have enough money. No, they're just screaming about money. They're no longer looking to their MP for help. The residents say instead of staging protests demanding water. They've tried to fend for themselves by establishing a self-help organization to get water back into their pipes. The group is like one year and odd. We only reached two years now. And we had over $300,000 or more in our little kitty. But that's nothing to start. You know, We had one that started the pump house, but we said we're still waiting on to build it up first before we start it. A lot of times I could stage a demonstration, but I'm so scared because sometimes the culprits use the demonstration as a link to do criminal things so our group not believing in the demonstration that's why we don't demonstrate you know the bath mountain self-help association has also turned to the jamaica social investment fund jacy for help they've applied for a grant to help get the water project off the ground Meanwhile, Water and Housing Minister Dr. Harris Chang says there are plans to restore the water supply in Bath Mountain. The Water Minister says it's all part of a bigger plan to replace outdated water systems across the country. I won't be able to give you a timeline today because I said it is a national effort. We have concluded what is called the Venture River System in Westmoreland, and that is where we're going to connect Bath Mountain to. It will involve the constraining of a 6 inch mainline from the current Venture River system to a rehabilitated tank in Bath Mountain and out of there. Um, before the year is out, I can give you a timeline, but I don't want to anticipate at this point in time just, and just say, yes, it's so, and you know, it become another promise for the people. But we, ha we are aware of this kind of situation across the island, and we are taking steps to correct it. The Water Minister is assuring the people of Bath Mountain that they've not been forgotten saying by the end of September he'll be able to provide them with more detail about efforts to restore piped water to the community. Until then, the residents of Bath Mountain will have to continue fending for themselves.
reporting for Live at 7, I'm Keneal Gale.